Hello again. I've spent a lot of time making the spider for this set, and now I'm finally finishing the knight. I'm starting with his lance. I'm using a piece of thicker wire, 18 gauge, and I've already just flattened the tip of it by hitting it with a hammer a few times. And now I'm going to shape it a bit with a dremel. Make sure to wear your safety glasses. After putting a point on the tip and a bit of an edge, I'm adding some decorative grooves. I thought the grooves looked pretty cool on their own, but got the idea that they'd make good anchor points for adding a wire wrap. I'm just making it up as I go. I haven't made many spears or lances before, so I'm seeing and learning myself what works as I go here. A little flourish at the end of the wire wrap might look nice. Let's try that and see what happens. And to give the shaft a nice wrap for a handhold, I often use thread on my weapons. I start with a looped knot that just slides to tighten, and as I wrap it around the shaft and around itself, it stays in place until I've got the whole wrap done. Then I add some varnish, to kind of glue it in place and have to sit here just holding the thread tight until the varnish dries enough. For a detailed explanation of how I make these thin metal sheets that I use for armor, see my video in my wolf playlist called Making Your Own Minis, Making Armor Out of Actual Metal. The short version is that I took some soldering wire and gradually and patiently hammered it flat. It's soft enough when uh, flattened out like this to cut easily with scissors. I use this green tape over the metal because pen or pencil don't draw very clean, crisp lines on the metal. This way I can see and plan the shapes out better. My original plan was to add the main plates and build out the armor, then fill in the gaps with clay and maybe work in details, like maybe chain mail into that clay. But I got thinking, and didn't follow my original plan for the under armor. I got thinking that I'd like this armor to have a lot of thin bands at the points that would flex a bit and had the idea that just wrapping wire around it would be easier than cutting bands out of the sheet and trying to line all those bands up and get them thin enough. Steel wire is a bit tougher to bend than the copper I used for the armature, so I use my pliers a lot during this process to anchor my grip and better leverage the steel wire to get a tighter, better wrap. Now the plates can go on. I somewhat plan these plates out ahead of time, but as I go and just see what it looks like, I quickly improvise new bits to cut out and add on. Just like sculpting clay, you can adapt the plan as you go, and you'll see as this video progresses more and more, just tiny little extra plates appearing because I stopped recording and moved on to another phase of the sculpt, but decided again that one spot or another needed just another little bit of metal or two. And here's a quick look so far. I really love how the wire wrap for the Under Armour has a jagged, slightly chaotic look to it, but is really solid looking at the same time. And here's how he's going to be riding the spider 
when Ian suggested the idea for his character, I immediately felt that this knight had to be riding its spider mount in a different way than a knight rides a horse. I'm going to have him lying flat on the spider's back, clinging to it with one hand. I imagine the spider taking him places up cavern walls and ceilings that no horse could take its rider. With my mini sculpts, I pretty much always start using clay much earlier in the process than now. But I think all the metal bits for head to toe armor really worked here. To give the boots, kneecaps, and helmet a tighter fit though, I'm switching to clay. And these pieces are all pretty basic and straightforward. I've used black oil paint to make this knight a dark knight. Um, oil paint works really well for this look because I can get it pretty thin. So it's more of a wash over the metal and you can still see a lot of the metal through it. I've uh, just got to be really careful handling it after this point because oil paint takes a long time to cure, to dry out, even with thinner and will wipe off really easily if I'm not careful. And this is tissue paper that I'm using for the cape. I've prepped it by painting it with black watercolor and then letting it dry. I scrunch it up a bit to give it some texture and folds, then attach it at the shoulders with some varnish. some more varnish and pulled bits of cotton and I'm trying to build it up uh, so it looks like it's got some webbing on the cape or as part of the cape to fit the theme of the spider knight. It helps to have my fingertips wet to manipulate and twist and pull the cotton like this so I keep a little water close by to dip my fingers in. And here he is. I've added a little webbing between two of the spider's back legs. Kind of looks like it's getting a little bit of webbing out and ready to wrap someone up. I hope you've enjoyed watching me put this together for Ian. By the time this video is up on my channel, the spider and knight will be on their way via mail to him. I'd love it if you support my channel. It's free and easy to do. Just hit those like and subscribe buttons, and I hope to see you again. Goodbye.